The Universal Gripper Octopus The octopus gripper was invented almost three decades ago by Sergei Delakian. The design of the gripper is based on a revolutionary new principle of mechanics. Its multi-sectional arm doesn't have a defined shape. Once its internal kinematic chains get into motion, the arm keeps surrounding an object until all of its sections come in contact with the surface. Finally, the arm takes the object's shape and gets irreversibly hardened. The object is firmly locked. The object could be of any shape, like a cylinder, a rectangular box, or any imaginable figure. The gripper is even capable of pushing its fingers into a hole and replicating the object's internal shape. These unique properties provide significant advantages. 1. Unbeatable universality, wider range of objects shapes and sizes. This feature is extremely valuable in cases when an object is far away, say a few miles deep on the ocean floor. For instance, when it becomes necessary to recover fragments of a downed plane, it could take hours to reach an object, even while its actual shape is unpredictable. 2. A uniform distribution of the holding pressure along the object's surface, thus eliminating excessive local pressure, allows for the manipulation of fragile objects like the aluminum fuselage of an aircraft. 3. Maintaining the firm grip even after all control systems have been disabled. 4. Automatic redistribution of the pressure and eliminating of slack in cases of prolonged vibrations that usually happen during transportation. 5. Maintenance-free design, no cables inside, so no need for lubrication. 6. An absence of exposed surfaces, allowing its use in harsh and aggressive environments, like salty ocean water. 7. The ability to be made of a wide variety of materials, from hardened stainless steel to a lightweight plastic version. During the last three decades we have tested various implementations of the octopus gripper. Our first prototype had a kinematic chain based on identical gears being permanently engaged. Both arms were driven by a single DC motor via two worm gears. The main advantage of this design is its simplicity which translates into reliability and low cost. This prototype allowed us to prove the concept, as well as have some fun playing with the gripper. You may see how we tried to pile heavy barrels on top of each other. We even secured a rectangular box by pushing both arms inside of its gap. The goal of our next design was to provide a better distribution of pressure along the arm. Thus in its kinematic chain we used the timing gears linked with each other via timing belts. The unequal numbers of teeth provided a descending gear ratio. That helped to improve the performance of our gripper. One of our customers used the octopus for underwater applications. In order to increase its lifting capacity, we even designed a special locking mechanism which has been implanted in all final sections. Extensive testing proved that a gripper of this kind could firmly grasp and lift objects weighing a few hundred pounds. The family of single-chain grippers work fine as long as gravity keeps both of the arms straight. However, in a horizontal position the arm's shape becomes less predictable, unless you pressure both arms against each other. While many serious practical applications demand stricter requirements. In order to improve its performance, we have finally designed a much bigger arm with a dual-branch kinematic diagram. It includes two independently operating kinematic chains, each with its own drive motor. The first chain fulfills basically the same functions as in our first prototypes, while the second kinematic chain controls freedom of transmission. Activation of the second motor irreversibly freezes the arm's shape in its current position, until an operator makes the decision to send a relaxation command. This feature allows the gripper to explore an object and memorize the required shape. Now an operator is able to stay outside of an unfriendly or hazardous environment and teach the gripper ahead of real action. The gripper grabs a dummy object which has roughly the same shape as the real object. Once all the sections come in contact, 
the octopus freezes the shape of both arms. And from now on, the arms act as if they are solid, no wobbling. At this stage the octopus is ready to go to a remote and unfriendly environment, fully prepared to firmly grab an object.